What if I told you that even though you have a product or service based business, you could become a tech company? I'm Monique, the work from home mobile, and I make videos about working from home, owning a business, reseller tips, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle. And today I'm going to talk about how to make your company a technology company so you can get in on all that grant funding and investments. And today's special guest is Beach Betty. If you want some of that tech money, stick around. I'm going to be sharing eight ways you can incorporate technology into your business to get it. People are interested in investing in technology companies because it's the future and technology is a way to get more customers and basically more money. And I'm going to tell you some eight tips on things that you can do for your current business to incorporate technology to grow and also to put that one sheet in your pitch deck or in your business plan that could change everything in terms of how much money and valuation that you could be looking at. I'm going to start with some things that you are already doing and could easily do and then work my way up to things that you may need some tech support and help with. Tip number one is video descriptions of your offering product, a video on how to use it, how it's going to help you, how it's going to transform you, what it's going to look like after. If you have a service, a video about what your service is, how it's going to help you, what is it going to look like, what is the transformation going to be, what is the value, how much it's going to cost, could be typed out if your prices vary unless you want to keep editing it and updating it, which honestly you should. The thing I like about video descriptions is it's multi-use content. So this is stuff that can go all over your social media posts, can be edited into reels and stories, can go straight on your website. Video converts. So the more video content you have, especially about what you want, which is the call to action to purchase, this is the number one thing you should be doing. Number two, in-app checkout. Making it really easy for people on social media to buy your products because the photos, the descriptions, the prices are all in there through the Facebook business account. Meaning on Facebook, they can just click it. And even on Instagram, as long as your Facebook is connected, People can shop straight through there. It could be paid straight there or linked to your website. Just describing this in your pitch deck or on your business plan means you have a technology incorporated way for users, millions of users on Facebook and Instagram to purchase your product, even if they don't. Virtual consultations virtual events. This connects people that cannot get to you in person, whether it's a service that you're explaining, a product that you're explaining, doesn't matter. Anybody can do this where you have something virtual for a customer to learn more about your offerings. And virtual events, you can get so creative with this, whether it is past, present, future clients, something exciting for them to do, workshop, something for them to learn, some game that they play, whether it is a Zoom or YouTube where they're only watching you or you're utilizing a platform where people can interact with each other. Making this a regular part of your business is another way to become a technology company. Number four, having a digital deliverable. This is really important if you have a physical product, but you want to be able to get to a lot of people that you can't ship it to, or it's getting expensive to ship things to, something that people can get instantly without having to pay shipping. The tech arm of my digital deliverable is an e-gift card. Now it's something that they use to be able to buy physical products. But I can also have digital deliverables such as a video. 
I can add NFT artwork rewards, things that can just be downloaded, audio, video, PDFs, eBooks, anything that I can upload and they can download is considered a digital deliverable. Notice I just threw NFTs in there like that's probably a whole nother research project for you to do. But number five, accepting digital currency is going to be a thing that we will all be needing to do. It's just another way to accept payment and make it easy for people that have those type of currencies to spend money with us. And it could mean that only the products that are five grand and up accept cryptocurrency for now. That's completely fine because they probably have it. Having packages that include NFTs in it, if you're gonna have something cool and amazing and revolutionary like that, you wanna accept cryptocurrency. Like those are the people that want to spend a lot of money on the things that they value, which is really high level cool stuff. Accept cryptocurrency as a payment to open up a whole window and door of people that have cryptocurrency. Number six is having augmented reality. And this basically just works for products. If you have a way where it could work for services, I would love to hear it. But in general, AR, your product in 3D where they're able to spin it and see what it looks like, even have different backgrounds. They can have their own body where the clothes go on their body. If it is furniture, they can have a picture of their room and then see the furniture in their room. If it's just a product, it can just be 3D so people can see what the whole packaging would look like. And Shopify already has an AR plugin, so it's something that can be done as long as you have the images to support it. But if you have a service and you can somehow translate a before and after 3D rendering of the service, that's one way to do it. Or if you have a service, but you also have a product, a tote bag, a t-shirt, any supplemental merchandise for a service, you can incorporate AR so people can spin it around. Okay, now we're getting into where you were probably gonna need some tech help, which there are so many resources out there for people in tech. Incorporating artificial intelligence, voice command, and having your own app building things, this would be step number seven. Now, one entryway into that is utilizing the AI that's already out there. For example, Alexa, what is Club Rapunzel? Here's something I found on the web. According to CreepJoy.com, Club Rapunzel is a quarterly hair repair and hair growth subscription box helping women with heat and chemically damaged hair. Incorporate yourself into Alexa and you can research Google and get yourself into the AI that's already out there. And this is my last tip, which is going to be coming within the next, I don't know, decade or two, which is drone delivery. Amazon Prime Air and UPS Flight Forward are already getting approval to do these type of things. So as long as you sign up for an Amazon store or even Kindle publishing, if you have an ebook and then also can get the hard copy, at least you're kind of in there so that once the drone delivery is rolled out to everybody, you're going to be able to get in with them and also the other drone companies that are out there. It's really just about faster delivery, which gives you faster revenue. Some of these things you can start like right after you watch this video. Some of these things will be rolled out later. You're going to need tech support with, but whatever it is, start adding what tech you're offering in your company to your pitch deck. And then when you're out there networking or if you're even on Twitter, you'll be surprised about how interested people will be to invest in your company just by having some of these things incorporated. Now let's talk to Beach Betty. 
I'm so happy to be back, Monique, and I just want to say just watching your channel has inspired me, and I do now have my own beach going company. So my question is, how do I incorporate technology to going to the beach? Okay, but are you making money while going to the beach? It's not about the money, Monique. It's about the love for the beach. Well, you need to be at an operating level where you're receiving money or it's not really a business. What am I going to do? It's public beach. You know, everyone should have access to the beach. They shouldn't have to pay for it. Well, setting up my company, I did take your advice about business expenses. So my business expenses are covered as a tax write-off. Okay, what exactly would your expenses be if the beach is behind you and you're just walking to it? Well, my flip-flops to walk over to the beach, my sunscreen, I mean my expenses of things I need while I'm on the beach. Okay, well, I would say at least you're kind of saving money, therefore making money that way, but can you accept donations? Yes, I can accept donations, and I can think about ways to bring in technology to monetize my business and maybe make it offered for all people that don't have the privilege of having access to the beach behind their house. Actually, we're going to talk more about this Friday 555 live. And I would love to hear your ideas on how to make this a tech company. Thanks, Beach Betty. You know, I was always kind of against technology and more about the nature of the beach, but this has been very helpful. Thank you. Thanks, work from home bodies. Make sure that you're subscribed, hit that bell, join us for lives and new videos every week. We'll see you then. Bye. Millions of users on Facebook and Instagram to purchase your product, even if they don't.